subscribe to my channel click on bell icon to get notification about new video chapter 12 communication sometimes our relatives and friends stay in far away places so we need to send them messages and invitation cards the means that we use to send these messages are called the means of communication ancient means of communication in ancient times people sent messages through a messenger the messenger went either on foot or traveled on horseback or even a camel was used to convey the message in some places messages were sent by tying them to the feet of trained pigeons present means of communication one postal services the government has given the facility of sending mail through the post this is called the postal service the message is written on the postcard or on an inland letter sometimes it is written on a separate paper put in an envelope and sent to whomsoever the letter is to be sent his or her name and address has to be written on the envelope the written letters and the envelope are posted into the letter box then the postman collects all the letters and takes them to the post office later he delivers these letters according to the address given on them telegram we are able to send important messages and good wishes immediately through telegram the message sent should be very short it can be received in a very short period of time the reply to a message in postal service cannot be had immediately the person to whom the letter is sent has to take another letter to reply to it then the postman will deliver the letter so a lot of time is wasted for all these transactions thus the telephone has become an easy means of communication three telephone people use the telephone to contact a person whether he is far or near we can speak directly to a person through the telephone it is an easy and a quick means of communication for mobile phone we can speak to anyone from anywhere on a mobile phone five telefax apart from the telephone and the mobile phone we can now send matter like pictures photos etc in seconds to a person at a far away place through telefax we can individually use postal services telephone and mobile phone as a means of communication but if we have to communicate to the people at large in society then the following means of communication can be used six newspaper important incidents happenings in the world country or villages can be read through the newspaper we can come to know the latest happening in and around us the weather forecast the sports news 
and other such useful information through the newspaper. Seven, radio. News and important messages are broadcast through a radio. The news broadcast reaches immediately to every nook and corner of the world. But in this means of communication, we can only hear the news or incidents. Eight. Television or Doordarshan. Important messages and news are telecast on television. Besides, through television, we can directly see the person reading the news or giving important information. Incidents happening in faraway places can be seen by watching television at home. Now, recent methods of sending messages are through computer. The messages can be sent throughout the world in seconds by email.